in this video we'll compare indian scout and yamaha board you can see the engine capacity difference the difference is around 190 cc between indian scout and yamaha board when we consider power you can see the difference is around 35 bhp between these two now let's consider torque around 70 newton meter is the torque difference but in bold the maximum torque is delivered at 3000 rpm that means heavy initial torque is with yamaha bolt when we consider fuel tank capacity you can see almost same fuel tank capacity is provided in these two motorcycles but a small margin yamaha bolt dominates if you consider fuel economy mileage around six miles from calon is the fuel economy difference between these two motorcycles yes indian scout dominates now if you consider top speed more top speed is for indian scout it has more power in yamaha bolt can go around 107 miles per hour one thing we have to show that the transmission system six speed manual transmission is provided in indian scout but a five speed manual transmission is provided in yamaha bolt another major difference is the cooling system liquid cooling is provided in Indian Scout but air cooling is provided in Yamaha board. Note but the least the compression ratio difference average meaning compression ratio is provided in these two motorcycles but more is for Indian Scout. One of the major difference comes you can see in the ground clearance around 16 mm is the ground clearance difference between these two motorcycles and when we can say seat height approximate around 40 mm is the seat height difference. The braking stability is improved in the case of Indian Scout by using dual channel APS but only in some countries the ABS version of Yamaha board is available now if you consider which is heavier here you can see at least around 8 kg indian scout is more heavier in comparison to yamaha bolt when we consider wheelbase you can see there is no big difference between these two lengthwise if you consider yes more length is for indian scout the difference is around 33 mm if you are interested in tire specifications on the screen you can see the front tire specification and second you can see the rear tire specifications of these two motorcycles finally when you consider price there is a difference of around more than three thousand dollar between these two motorcycles so guys these are the main differences between these two if you are in doubt write in the comment section like share the video subscribe to my channel thank you